In this video, we will introduce you to the Scanit Dental User Interface. This introduction will be based on the scanning process for a three unit bridge. When you want to start the scanning process, first open Scanit Dental. You can do this either by clicking the Scan button at the end of the creation of a new order or by double clicking the selected order in the Dental Manager. At the top of the User Interface window, you will find the workflow bar showing the scanning steps you're able to freely switch between the completed steps. The length of the top workflow bar may differ depending on the case. In our case, we have an upper jaw preparation scan, a lower jaw antagonist scan, a bite scan, and die number 21 and die 23 scans. The following step is design. If you would like to make order adjustments, click on the dental manager icon. Navigation between steps can be done using the next and back buttons. Our software is very flexible, so you are able to get to the chosen step or sub-step by clicking on it directly. Each of the workflow steps contains a number of sub-steps, guiding you through the scanning process. Scanner Dental also has a section which provides graphical information about the current step and guides you through the scanning steps in a simple and fast way. In the left bottom part of the user interface window, each specific step has its set of tools. Here you have the possibility to add the Scan Neighborhood option to the scanning workflow. When you select that option, you are able to do an extra scan of the preparation arch without dies for better contact points. Another option available here is called Interface Plate. In the Interface Plate drop-down list, you can select one of the two methods of skipping the byte. Choose either the Calibrated Articulator Interface Plates or the Occlusion Setup Tool for cases that are not fixed in an articulator. On the right side of the User Interface window, you have a Texture Slider available that can enable and disable the Texture Scanning view. Right next to the slider, there are the available following buttons. Close, Full Screen and 2D Cross Section. From here, you can Send Feedback Report in Settings, the general options allow you to set the individual scan height, whereas the Detail Levels option allows you to set up speed scanning or detailed scanning. Furthermore, in the Advanced Settings, you can choose Texture Scanning. This feature enables capturing hand-drawn markings, penciled directly onto the physical models. Scan when closing door activates scanning when the user inserts an object into the scanner and closes the scanner door. Here you can also select Speed Mode to speed up the scanning process, Multi-Die Scanning, which enables scanning up to seven die at the same time, or the Scan Dies in Arch option, which allows to skip single dies separately. If you mark Multi-Die Scanning, it will disable the Scan Dies in Arch option, and vice versa. When you start the scanning process, the scanner first makes initial scans of the upper and lower jaw. During the initial scan of the preparation arch, set the annotation points. Now you can add or remove a desired scan area on the pre-scan model. You can do this just by pointing at it and clicking. The radius of the tool can be changed by holding Shift and scrolling the mouse. Alternatively, click on Select All or Clear Selection. After scanning, use the Rescan option if necessary, or Load Scan for one that has been done before. To save scans, click the Save Scan button. Use of the Scan Neighborhood and the Interface Plates options is still available at that point of the scanning workflow. All scans can always be trimmed using the Trim sub-step. Use a brush or cutting plane to trim the scan. After clicking on Next, the software will ask you to insert the upper and lower models in the occlusion if you did not decide to skip the byte by using one of the two available methods. Here you can select the relevant option if you are scanning only quadrants or when the lower model is on the top. Having the outcome of occlusion scanning ready, 
the software will always align it with the previous scans. Alignment results show the outcome of automatic alignment, but you have the possibility to align the scans manually using one or three point alignment for each jaw scan. If the models match perfectly, click Next to save all scans. And then you are ready for designing. Thank you for watching.